Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Solution 6 Gathering Storm. So, we still have an emergency against us. Or is it an emergency against the AI? <laughs> it's hard to tell at this point. But anyway, we will try to take a city from Gorgo. We'll see how that goes. I know she has cavalry, which we don't actually have yet. It might be best to just research it before we really push hard. Because right now I'm going for industrialization. But it might actually make sense to get military science first. Yeah, okay, let's get the military science. It's only seven turns and we got like four cursors at this point. And they only have 44 combat strength now. They are not really strong enough at this point. Compared to Maskedman, for example, who has 55. So that would be a pretty nice upgrade. I also need, yep, four more Niter. I guess we'll wait for that. Cover is pretty strong. I don't want to risk. But let's move one tile closer. And we'll wait for the Corsair to repair. Or rather heal. We do have field cannons, so that should help quite a bit. And they are quite tanky. Especially compared to crossbowmen. So firepower shouldn't be a big problem. We'll find out soon enough. So what do we need around here? We got one more build on this guy. I don't think we need any more repairs. Oh yeah, actually we don't need repairs down here. And then I suppose we need the citrus. Okay, sounds good. So these guys can just stay here for now. To defend. Because we are still at war with China. And we likely will be in predictable future. I could pay them to end it, but there's no need. We'll be fine. Alright, so let's wait a few turns. Meanwhile, we got a few more units coming. I could still buy more, but we'll need money for unit upgrades. Uh, yes, accept an alliance. Obviously. We are allied with everyone that we're not at war with, so that's pretty funny. And we got a great person. Gain 500 gold. Grant one governor title or recruit a new governor. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another governor title, actually. 500 gold isn't really worth much, but the governor title is fine. And some envoys. So let's send one more to Babylon. Wow, 25 in Yerevan. That's a lot. Well, anyway, we got one more right now. We could get a little bit of extra culture or a little bit of extra science. Which city would we want to go for? Antioch can be a pretty nice one. Yeah, Antioch can be really good, actually. This one has nobody. Yeah, these two city-states have no one. Zero competition. Interesting. Your civilization gains plus 2% culture for each great person it has ever earned. That is actually not too bad. I think I'll go for that one. Alright. So let's get the musket man to the front. Because he's the tank in here. Not literally, but he's going to soak the damage. And then we can move into city bombardment range. I will avoid the encampment. So I don't think we'll be putting that city under siege. Because that would involve being in range of the encampment. I would prefer to avoid that. Anyway, here's the governor title. So now we could pick up defense logistics. Or we could pick up... Oh no, we have grants already. Okay. Well, we could actually get Liang. Because we actually kind of need reinforced materials for that one city with the volcano. It will always be active. So I think I'm going to grab Liang. Yeah, we are going to need that in the long run. Let's just grab Liang. Off you go then. Alright then. So let's repair this. And then we can get the citrus or whatever. And I'm going to chop this forest, get a farm, 
because we kind of need that. We need more food for Jenny, otherwise it will not really grow past 5 population. Also, remember Gorgo is still at war with some other people. So hopefully she will be busy with that. As you can see, she is fighting Poundmaker. That's a good thing. That will keep her distracted. Alright, so let's move in. This is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see how this will go. I don't think I want the cavalry in range. Well, no, it should be fine. We can actually upgrade right now. While being in range. How about we do that then? Here. That's 64 melee straight. Right, so that's the strongest melee unit we can have right now. Okay, let's move in then. We'll see how much damage we can do. Is there another bombard nearby? There's one more defending. Can we peace out with China? Without paying them? No, not really. Okay, well, I'm not paying them that much. We could just try to take another city. It seems he backed up. Yeah, I'm not sure where he is. Interesting. We could try to push a little bit. Let's give it a shot. We could either capture that city or maybe raise it. It's not really an amazing city. But it does have fresh water. It will depend on how many tiles it will have around here. There are some good ones, but they might belong to another city. Anyway, I think we need some military production. As tempting as it is to start another wonder. Yeah, let's get some more units. We don't quite have enough nitre, but we could have some more field cannons. We could get pike and shot. Yeah, let's get pike and shot. That doesn't require any strategic resources, and we could actually use more melee units. We don't really have that many at the moment. Okay, sounds good. And repair the other tile. Then we can improve the citrus. One more builder is still coming. Alright, we'll see. Oh, and we got a promotion. Commando. Extra movement is actually quite nice. As for the trader... Well, what's the best trade route we can have? Wow, 44 gold? Holy crap. That's a lot of gold. Well then, I guess we are going for that one. 27 gold from other bonuses. Yeah, that is pretty good. The Great Zimbabwe is just so nice. Okay, but let's go here then. 44 gold per turn from that one single trade route. So now we are making 329. We could easily make 400, maybe 500. Eventually we could probably pass 1000 per turn. I could see that happening, certainly. So. Let's get this guy out of here and move in with the Musket Man. And we can promote him. Here you go. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do here. This could get interesting. Yeah, look at the damage we already took on the Musket Man. He's down to 60 health. I really want to pillage the Niter, but if I go here, that will be a little bit suicidal, to say the least. That's a district. Oh yeah, that's ours. This right here is an aqueduct. I can't pillage it to gain health, unfortunately. It might be best to just stay here. Because if I move in, I will not be able to get out easily. That's the problem right now. Alright, well, we need to do some damage. Let's stay on that hill. We'll see how that goes. We can also swap with the field cannon. I suppose that's also okay. And keep musket men inside our borders. Yeah, this could be interesting. Fortunately, we got a stronger unit now. 
we got 18 more turns on the emergency. Now China is coming. Yeah, I don't really want to push for that city too aggressively. I just mostly want to defend right now. Let's just do that. As far as capturing cities go, I'd rather take cities from Gorgo. We can deal with China later. So that will speed up the unit. And then we can get a farm. Yep. She's attacking the bombard. I can't blame her. We can sell some luxuries. Yeah, incense and citrus. We might as well buy jade. And get some gold. How much will you give me? 150. Good enough. We could actually use an encampment a little bit closer to Gorgo. That would be useful, yes. Meanwhile... We can kill that guy. Bye bye. And this guy as well. Here, might as well. That's actually worth a promotion. So, back to Gorgo. Yeah, I can't attack with that bombard or I will lose it if I do that. We will probably need more siege units here. Almost certainly. It's still good experience, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the experience, certainly. But at the same time, I would like to take the city. Yeah, we will need more bombards. I think I might just buy one. The problem is that it will take it quite a few turns to actually get there. But we can buy one. How much is that? Yeah, over 1000 gold. A little bit expensive. But we can afford it. Whatever, let's just buy one. It's fine. We should try to get as many units as possible while we build the Terracotta army. We got Pike and Shot in 8 turns. I assume that will count. I can speed it up a little bit. Yeah, this city is not exactly growing. Because housing. Might as well switch it to full production. That way he will definitely be done before the bonus kicks in. So, I think we can send one musket man back. North. We could probably get the bombard as well. I feel like I'm going to need that bombard. The units we have around here can defend the area just fine. They don't really need more help. So, grab that farm. It's not going to be amazing, but it's going to be better than desert. Yep, she's focusing on the bombards. I guess that's to be expected. More luxuries we can sell. Yeah, some of the trades expired. We'll just get the money. Yeah, we could actually use the money. So let's get the gold. She is willing to pay quite a bit for that one. Okay, sounds good to me. Enjoy. Okay, time to back up. There's chemistry boost. I'll just move into the city here. And one unit in the front. Right, let's send the bombard this way. I think we'll be fine. 14 more nitrate required. And we'll get military science in two turns. I can probably leave the musket man here for now. But we'll definitely need the bombard. I already need to back up. I don't really have much of a choice. If I don't back up, I'll lose the bombard. It's down to 45 in one single shot. Oh well. Let's just do that then. I can't prevent the city from regaining health because I can't really put it under siege. If I do that, I lose units. So now... We might be able to do that with cavalry. We'll see about that. I could definitely surround it with cavalry. We would still lose some units by doing that. But it would speed up the siege. Quite significantly too. Let's first get cavalry and then we'll see. So, one more build on this fella. Can we get any more decent tiles with food? Not really, not for this city anyway. 
Yeah, well, at least it will actually kind of grow now. Not very quickly, but it will. So back up and pick up the promotion. That's commando plus one movement. And there's the other bombard. We got what, four bombards now? Yes, four bombards. Hopefully that will be enough. Now let's save up for cavalry upgrades. Because we'll need that. We satisfied his agenda apparently. Is he still attacking from the north? Yeah, he is. They are still fighting in the north. That's a good thing. Hopefully they will continue. Okay, so... We got a promotion. Yeah, let's pick that up. I don't want to waste experience. Here, volley is good. No, I'm not interested in talking with you. Back up and send another bait. She can attack the cursors, I don't mind. That's actually the best target right now. Not field cannons, anyway. Alright, you guys repair. One more turn. I'm not quite sure how expensive that upgrade is going to be. But hopefully we'll be able to afford it right away. Heal this fella. Yep, he's down. Alright then. So, will China accept? Well, they are giving us a better deal now. But I'll just wait. Meanwhile, let's improve the forest. And just chill. Come on now. Another war. Okay, what's going on? Didn't quite catch that one. We got plus one error score, good. No one starts a How's our error score doing anyway? Make when trying to also, civil engineering. So that unlocks public works and skyscrapers. I'm not currently fruit. building any wonders, but we probably will. Once this war is done. Let's pick up public works, because we don't need that. And I think I'll be keeping everything else. Yeah, we don't need everything else. We still need veterancy, because, well, actually we kind of don't, but once I'm done with Terracotta Army, I'll be building the Armory and the Military Academy. We might as well just queue it up right away. We will be getting the Terracotta Army in five turns, so that will help a bit. Next up, the Enlightenment. That will unlock rationalism and free market. We'll probably want both. They will both be nice for us. Right, back to our siege. So the musket men can almost move back in. Let's do some more damage. Now I don't have a battering ram, but I don't think it'll do as much good here. I could still bring it. But I just really don't think it'll be very useful. It's a little bit late for that. Water meal. I would normally buy it, but we need gold for our military currently. And maybe get started on archaeological museum. And our art museum. We don't need the boost from the art museum anymore. Or do we? And no, we don't. Which one was that? Okay, let's get archaeological museum then. It will take a while, but that's okay. I mean, we'll need it eventually. Again, I could buy it, but we need money for the military. Alright, no space for you, I'm afraid. Well, he can go here. That might not be entirely fine, but... It'll be slightly more damage. Might as well do it. There it is. It's already down to half. It should go faster once our bombards are back to full health. 57 health. We can stay here. That should be okay. Two more niter needed. Yep. Niter is a bit of a bottleneck. 152 gold. Siphon funds. Yeah, okay. There are no funds to siphon, apparently. Let's steal a tech boost. We could try to neutralize a governor. But I think I'd rather steal a tech boost. So let's do that. 
that will be more useful overall. We got four builds here. Let's get the lumber builds because we can get quite a few and they don't get a production penalty. So they are actually quite nice for production from this one. Come on. Okay, the bombard should be ready to attack in a few turns, like three turns or so. And now we need to back up with the Cursor. 14 more turns of the emergency. What's this? Oh yeah, that's their unique unit, Crouching Tiger. Okay then. I can't check how strong it is. Well, we can check like this. 44 base strength. Oh, it's not that strong. Not a problem. I can actually use City Bombardment. Let's just stay fortified. Oh, hold on. No, we can kill it. Let's kill it then. And back into our territory. Here. That will do. So now we need 29 for an upgrade. Also, we got another governor title. Yeah, Niter is going to be a huge bottleneck. And we got two sources. I need a Corsair that didn't take any damage. I don't think we have one right now. No, we don't? Wait, really? Yeah, apparently. This guy has a promotion. Uh, no, it's just the upgrade. I thought he had a promotion. Well, in that case, I guess we'll just wait a little bit. Meanwhile, let's do some more damage. This is mostly for experience, but it's always a little bit of damage. It will go much faster once we get rid of the fortification. Because then, she won't be able to bombard our units anymore. Uh, also, we can fight by a bank. That's 460. And we should probably build the dam. It's only 11 turns. It's not too... Oh, no. I would have to build it here. I don't know about that. It's six food from that tile. That kind of sucks, but at the same time, I really wanted the dam. We only have 6.8 food surplus right now. Well, minus 75% because of housing capacity. How about we build a district? We could grab an encampment here. I would prefer one further to the north. But we don't have too many options here. How's science? We are actually like fifth right now. Really? Okay. 153 signs per turn for the Mongols. 35 for Gorgo. 66 for Korea. We could actually use another campus. The downside is that it will only have like a plus one bonus. That's not amazing. But it will do. Let's get a campus just to play it safe. And we'll pick up Zoning Commissioner. It's not super useful, but we need it for reinforced materials. I mean, it's still kind of useful. It will literally apply to the campus we just started. But it's mostly because of the follow-up promotion. Oh wait, do we have one more? Yeah, we have one more. We can pick up reinforced materials right away. There it is. So now we don't have to worry about that volcano anymore. Uh, does the city control all the tiles? Yes, it does. Nice. And we are working all of them, too. So, Musketman is back to full health, but let's stay out of range of that encampment, shall we? Yes, let's do that. You need to back up. The Bombard is almost back to full health. We can probably move in. It would be best if we moved in with both of them at the same time. Yeah, let's wait one more turn and we'll move in with both at the same time. That way they will be back to full health. I don't want to risk losing them. Oh, another spy? I don't think we need a counter spy, or do we? No. Let's send another spy to Gorgo. Or to China. 
we could go to China. Let's take a look. Yeah, we could go to their capital. Let's go to their capital, why the heck not? We can do it. So, Gorgo, your time has come. This siege has been taking long enough already. You want to buy your luxuries? Sure, why not? Okay, let's buy the olives and the wine and the salt. We might actually need that. And we can still get the gold. He seems to be really desperate for luxuries. Look at that. Okay, seriously? He will pay 68 gold per turn and he will give us 3 luxuries in exchange for 2 luxuries. That is a pretty damn good deal. I will obviously accept that. Why wouldn't I? It's not the towering set. So, can we finish this war with China now? Well, I mean, I could give them 12 gold per turn. It's not because it's hard or anything, but it's a bit of an annoyance. And I'd like to take full control of the city. Also, I would like to send my units north. To fight Gorgo. Instead of defending. So, I think I'm going to do it. It's fine. I mean, we literally just got 68 gold per turn from Poundmaker. So we can give 12 of that to China. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Here. Enjoy your 12 gold per turn. So first, let's heal back to full, shall we? And now the city can actually kind of grow. Well, sort of. We might want to get some more tiles with food. See, here's the thing. I could grab the volcano tiles, but then Liang will not apply to those tiles. Which means they might get destroyed by the volcano. There are some unimproved tiles around here. The problem is that we don't control... Wait, what? Hold on. Why can I not grab these? These are ours. So why can we not take over? Oh wait, no. These are districts. That's why we cannot take over any of the tiles. Yeah. Because none of the tiles that are not districts are directly adjacent to the city's territory. Like, this is not a district, but it's not directly adjacent to the city's territory. So while it's technically in range, I can't work it. Same with, let's say, this one or this one. Alright, I suppose that's how it will be. What's the highest food tile we can get? This one. Okay, let's grab that one. If the volcano blows up, we'll just repair it. It's fine, but I kind of need that food to get the city to kind of grow. Here, now it will actually kind of grow. So, what's going on here? What did we just finish? A workshop. Don't need an aqueduct. No suitable location for a dam. Yeah, there's no river here. No wonders we can build. No districts we can build. We don't exactly need renaissance walls. Well, it's a little bit of tourism later on. But not exactly a lot. Let's get some more units. Some units that don't require niter. Because we are already bottlenecked as is. Yeah, I'm thinking pike and shot or some more field cannons. Let's get some more field cannons. Can't go wrong with those, really. Alright, and back to Gorgo. Now we can actually move in. So let's do exactly that. Move out with the field cannon. Move in with both bombards. And then we'll attack with both on the next turn. Hopefully that will be enough damage. I can almost get the third one into range. We can do it on the next turn. Okay, that will do. Still waiting for the cursors to heal up. We got 30 Niter. I suppose we won't be needing that battering ram, but we might as well send it north. It's not like we are at war with China anymore. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Let's see if we can get rid of city fortifications.
He actually wants to buy luxuries. Sure, why the heck not? We have a lot of incense. How much will you actually pay us? Quite a lot. Well, I mean, not that much. But considering we were literally just at war, that's not too bad. We are almost at 400 gold per turn now. Here's sanitation boost and industrialization is coming in three turns. Fingers crossed for coal. <laughs> no coal hype! That was a thing for a long time. Alright, let's not attack whether the other bombard yet. We'll see how much damage we can do. This might not be enough if I attack with it. Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced it will be enough. And I would prefer to not lose it. It's at 51 health. So in theory, the city bombardment did 49 damage to it. So in theory, it should be fine. I suppose it's only level 2. No, it's literally level 1. Okay, fine, just attack. Yeah, there's like a sliver left. I could attack with my melee unit, but then it will lose more than half of its health. That is not a very smart idea, let's just say. If only we had a great general. But alas, we do not. Anyway, maybe we should build the University Wonder. I mean, it will take 38 turns, but I don't think we have a whole lot of competition for it. And this city doesn't really have anything better to do. Let's just do it. So now I guess we'll find out whether we lost the bombard or not. It's not the end of the world if it gets killed, but I'm hoping it will have like two health left. So, some more lumber mills. We do have another bombard coming. It will be useful against other cities if we decide to go for other cities. We don't have to stop with one. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay, it has whole eight health left. That's seven more than it needs. Get out of here. So now we can definitely get rid of city fortifications. Down they go. And the city will be ours in like two turns max? I think so. Oh, we got a promotion. I will take the promotion. So, volley. And we can upgrade the courser. Let's do that then. That leaves us with 22 nitrates still. This guy is almost back to full health. Just let him regain full health. And we could get an archaeological museum or we could get an art museum. How many slots do we have for great works? Yeah, basically zero. Well, one. As in, for great works of art. I suppose we could use one art museum. Okay, fine, let's get one art museum. If only to have the slots. City state quest complete, go us! I wasn't even aware I completed a city state quest. And yes, alliance has expired, let's extend them. Here you go. Only one option here. I guess that's the one we'll go for. Lautaro. Research Alliance. There it is. And Dido. <laughs> that was like economic. Yep. Here. So that's that. China doesn't like us too much, but whatever. We don't care about their opinion, do we? No, no, we do not. Here, you can attach to the battering ram. Probably don't need that masked man, but we can send him anyway. That is a lot of troops heading towards Gorgo. Is she still fighting Poundmaker? Sort of. Well, there are some troops on the border. I can't quite tell whether they are fighting or not. I'm not selling nitrate, sorry. I can, however, sell incense. I'm more than happy to do that. They already have mercury. We can grab marble. And a little bit of gold. Here, 180 gold. Enjoy! 10 more turns, and we'll get 200 diplomatic favor. 
There were seven oh, and we finished the Terracotta Army. Nice. The discovery of the Terracotta Army, we may say. That is such a good wonder. Miracle of the world. Easily one of my favorite wonders in the game. And the AI seems to be really bad at building it. Suspected. And, you and we got enlightenment. So I wouldn't mind picking up both free market and rationalism. I definitely want rationalism. So I think it's time to get rid of public works. We could remove drill manuals. I mean, I don't know. We kind of still need niter. It's a tough one. Let's remove veterans, eh? It will delay their armor slightly, but I can live with that. And we'll pick up rationalism for that slot. Where is it? Right here. And we can get rid of either public works or drill manuals. One or the other. I think I'd rather keep public works. Our military is fine right now. And we'll still be getting four nighter per turn. I think that will be fine. So let's replace that with free market. There. Okay, sounds good. I'm keeping public works. Here, 413 gold per turn. Looking better now. We can probably start buying things soon. Do we still need another bank anywhere? Because we have enough faith to buy one right now. Let's go through the cities really quick. No Sugoba over there. I think we have all the banks already. Yes, we seem to have all the banks already. However, we can still buy some buildings in cities with... Which religion was it? I'm kind of losing track, but one of the religions had Jesuit education. Not quite sure which one. I guess it's faster to see what the options are. Yeah, missionary, I'm not interested in that. Okay, maybe we can't actually fight by anything. What about this one? There's no religion in here. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, sure, no problem. Anyway, let's take the city already, shall we? We got all these promotions. But I kind of really want to grab the city. Right now. Hold on, let's move a bit closer because I want the bombarding range. We'll miss out on some experience. Okay, fine. I don't like missing out on experience. Arrow storm. I'm still staying out of range of that encampment. Well, kind of. One field cannon is in range now. But there's no city bombardment from the city itself anymore. So it should be fine. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of promotions. That one, just to spread them out a little bit. More. Yep, this guy. Charge, that will be useful. Arrow storm. Still another one. Battle cry. I think that's it. So next up, colonialism, I think. We still need to research astronomy, apparently. Well, we can do that next. No problem. It's only two turns. Fingers crossed for coal. We are about to find out whether we have coal or not. It's not as important as oil, but it's still pretty important. I wouldn't want to have no coal. I'm trying not to jinx it here, but I might have already done it. Yep, more promotions. Did I mention how good Terracotta Army is? And these guys as well. Oh, nice. Which one do we want? Probably this one. One more. Battle cry. Okay, I think that's it. There are probably a few more still. I can pick them up later, it's fine. As for our spy, we can't steal a tech boost anymore. Unfortunately. Let's try to neutralize the governor. It will lower the loyalty pressure. 
I don't think we'll have loyalty problems, especially since we have a lot of governors. But he might as well kick out their governor. Oh, this guy was an auto explorer. And now he also has a promotion. Can move after attacking, that's kind of useful. Okay, almost lost that field cannon. Might want to back up with it. Though we have coal. Enemy spy escape. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We don't have coal inside our borders. Because there's no notification, and that's what I'm looking at. Well then. Really now? Did I just jinx it? Apparently I did. I don't even see coal around here. Maybe city-states have some? No. Well, there's coal here. A little bit far away. This is really disappointing. There's no coal down here either. So, we'll have no coal, really? Can we take any from China? No. I can't take any from Greece either. Well, there's some coal over here. That's a bit of a stretch, but that seems like the one resource we might be able to take. I would have to capture half of their cities. It might be doable, I mean, she's still at war with both Poundmaker and the Mongols. But I can't say I'm very happy about this. Let's see if we can take the city right now. Probably not so much. Yeah, no, not really. Let's maybe cap a little bit. So what's the safest way to do this? I don't think there's an entirely safe way of doing this. I kind of want to attack the city. But I need to move these guys. Alright, let's move. And then we can pick up the promotion to heal ourselves. And I could move in with a melee unit. Yeah, I can't move in enough. Let's attack the city. Promotion can wait. We need to take it ASAP. And then keep pushing. That's the plan. That encampment is actually really well placed. I really don't want to move into its range right now. Would rather avoid that. Okay, fine. Let's do it. There is a bombard inside, and I'm not too happy about that. But we'll have to do something about this anyway. Or we can just push northwest. We'll see about that. Let's see what's going to happen now. What's next? I really want that dam, but at the same time, it's six foot from that tile. Not happy about this. Let's just grab the factory. Now that we finished industrialization, that's an obvious one. Another promotion. I think we have enough units over there already. So I'm just going to keep these guys here. Yeah, they are not exactly needed. We are fine. As for the skirmisher, just use auto explore. Or we can send him back into our territory. Uh, that might be a slightly better idea for now. There's not much left to explore, to be honest. We already know about most of the city-states. Uh, let's not pick up the promotion yet, because we can pick it up to heal ourselves. That's definitely a good idea. Can we finish this turn yet? Oh yeah, there's the spy. Gain sources first, and then we'll try to steal a tech boost, maybe. Okay, so now we can pick up the promotion. Sounds good. That cavalry is going to have a bad more. day. There's colonialism boost, because we got astronomy. And what's next? Oh yeah, steam power. 
There's no way we'll be building two shipyards. We don't even have two harbors. So let's do that then. And then we could actually use a few railroads. The problem is that railroads require coal. And we don't have any currently. Still, we are going to need steam power because it's required for other techs. So one way or the other we need to research that. Kill this guy. Okay, he's not quite dead yet. Wait, really? I can't finish him off? Okay, that's a bit disappointing. I could do it with the bombard. I could do it with the field cannon. Here. And the bombard can attack the city. Can we take the city now? No, not yet. Well then. I was only hoping I will be able to take it a little bit faster, but this episode is getting a little bit long now. So that's going to be the end of it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.